say it's not so complicated, it's very simple. The government is not inter interested much in contemporary art. And, uh, but uh, from the other side, art people, their expectations are turned to government for funding, for some kind of support. And uh, it's, uh, it's an impossible dialogue who continues, which continues more than 20 years now. And um, with every change of powers, with every with every elections, so there are many hopes from the art community here for some changes, for some uh, some bigger will for things to happen in here. But uh, every time it's disappointing. So. Mm. People who deal with art here, especially from the older generation, they are used to be supported by the government. From the other side, there are many new players, many uh, artists mostly, and art managers from the younger generations who think more independently. They don't expect much from the ministry, from the government, from the uh, officials, but uh, uh, in fact there are not many other uh, possibilities mm -hmm. in the country. There, mm, there are only two or three private uh, funds and undeveloped uh, art market mm -hmm. too. So it's, it's a simple, it's, uh, it's, it's maybe very common with uh, many countries uh, from the former Eastern Europe mm -hmm. and uh, it's somehow of a uh, vacuum here. In fact, uh, contemporary art in Bulgaria is presented mostly by independent institutions and by artist-run institutions. Uh, the public institutions are more traditionally oriented and they are funded by uh, public funding, by uh, the municipality or by the government. Uh, it's, it depends from the status of the institution, but um, probably the only visible public institution that deals with uh, contemporary art is Sofia City Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. Which has, uh, which has the only collection of contemporary art in Bulgaria. It is the only museum which has a, a collection of contemporary art here. So this is the only example I could give uh, for a public institution to deal with uh, very regularly with contemporary art. The others are more conservative, more traditionally oriented and they continuously develop uh, one uh, cultural policy which is inherited from the past, from the last uh, 40, 50 years. I was working for more than 20, uh, for more than 10 years in a private institution, in a gallery which was owned by a bank, and uh, I was trying to introduce some contemporary concepts and artists there in this space. Now I'm from the other side of the, this uh, border, let's say, mm -hmm. and I work from, for the municipality here in Plovdiv. Um, I have many projects which I develop with uh, independent institutions as an independent guest curator. So it's uh, there are not many curators in Bulgaria. We literally know each other by name. Uh, we are just a few, so we, it depends from the circumstances, it depends from the invitations, mm -hmm. and from the projects. It is hard to name uh, a, a current trend or something, uh, uh, or a tendency. 
for, especially for the younger generation. Most of uh, them uh, study in Liverpool, they don't live here. So they come from somewhere else with some uh, concepts which are um, developed there, the different concepts. Very usual, they use their own um, identity as Bulgarians, as Eastern Europeans, as post-communists, and develop uh, this and develop their concepts around this idea of identity, but somewhere else. We, we don't have many traditions in, uh, in uh, such kind of um, actualist and uh, um, political engaged art here. We have uh, a trauma from the socialist realism uh, inherited uh, from the from the previous generations, mm. which is something very uh, deep here, very deep rooted here. So we have a very strange and again complicated history with the Venice man. Yeah. And every time when uh, somebody opens this uh, door, there is there are always uh, problems and discussions mm. around it, and. Uh, we don't have a common agreement even uh, on the history of participation mm -hmm. here because there may be 10 or 15 from uh, 1999 from, until mm -hmm. now but uh, every time it's very discursive and very problematic to say which is the first participation, which is the last, who is most yeah. important, who is not so important. So we had uh, one uh, participation in 2007 uh, the Venice Biennial, and then there was uh, again one participation, I think in 2011, which is very uh, uh, disputable here because uh, the Ministry of Culture literally sold the participation to a private gallery. Every time when a ministry receives the invitation for participation, for the national participation, every time it depends from the current government, it depends from the minister, every time there is a different situation, a different decision, and every time there is a problem. So we don't have a regular pavilion. We, we tried, we, we took some measures to develop some kind of a system or some kind of a policy which could be consistent and could be permanent for these participations because it is, uh, it is a pity we are on one of the few countries which are not there but uh, at least for now it seems impossible. I would say yes, we, we cooperate well, but we cooperate with artists who, who know what is the role of curator and uh, what is the role of the curator and uh, who are uh, some kind open to mm, such a relationship and such, co such a cooperation. Uh, when we speak about the the art scene here as a um, in general it's more conservative so the curator is still a known word for many artists especially from the older generation and from for the traditionalists they still uh, accept the curator as an art historian who, who comes and uh, opens their exhibitions with the speech. Mm -hmm. This is the, the role, this is the usual understanding mm -hmm. for a curator for most of the people here. But um, I would say that for the contemporary art society it's, uh, it's something very... it's not uh, a problem and we have very good relationship with the artists.